What is going on guys? Esoteric Grider here and today is a beautiful day to do some motor vlogging so I'm gonna do just that. So I know I've mentioned it before about how much love that the Honda Fury gets. I just kind of briefly mention it and I don't really go into detail about it. And that's what this motor vlog is gonna be about today. Because yesterday I went to my uh, favorite alcoholic establishment known as The Bar and I took my bike there and it's it's like half a biker bar, half a military bar. And you know, I, I fit in with anybody that goes to a damn bar because I like alcohol and motorcycles, but I never mix the two together. So I ended up riding to the bar to meet up with some friends. And since it's a uh, biker and military bar, you know, there's like damn near everybody's in, into motorcycles and whatnot. But usually everybody who rides there has your typical regular touring Harley Davidson, nothing special. So when somebody pulls up on a bike like the Honda Fury, it's a complete game changer, you know what I'm saying? Like it's a completely different different entity. And I, I come to think of it because this this uh, a couple gentlemen came up to me and they're like, hey man, is that a Honda Fury? And I'm like, I'm like, yeah, yeah, it is. He's like, man, that is freaking sharp, you know? He's just like and, and, and one guy's like, man, I want to trade in my street bob to get one. Or not my street bob, my fat bob to get one. And I'm like, I'm like, well, I mean, don't get me wrong, a fat bob is a good looking bike and whatnot, you know, for, for select people, but the Honda Fury is a good looking bike for everybody. And uh, he joked around, he's like, yeah, he can make an ugly person look look good again. And I'm like, I'm like, yeah, as a matter of fact, you could. I'm like, yes, you could, my friend. Woo! I was not ready for that bump. But there's usually three questions that people talk to me about when it comes to why they love the Honda Fury. And I've narrowed it down to these three things. And the first thing is, is that it's different. It's a different motorcycle. Not because it's a Honda and not a Harley Davidson, it's because aside from the, I believe it's the Raider or the Striker, one of the two, the Honda Fury is the only bike that looks the way that it does. Unless, unless it's custom made. And you don't get a lot of those, at least around this town. It might be different for yours, but it sure as hell ain't for this town, that's for sure. And when people think of, they think of, you know, it, it being different, you know, they, they ask like, hey, what's the engine size on that? And when I tell them it's a 1300, they're like, oh man, I thought that was like maybe an 1100 tops. And I'm like, nope, I, if I'm correct, aside from, well, being a cruiser, that is, this is the biggest engine on a Honda Cruiser. Next to, you know, the 750s and you got the, uh, I, I believe it's the 1800s are, are the touring Hondas, I believe, I could be wrong. But yeah, everybody absolutely is, uh, you know, they're, they're surprised that this thing has as big as an engine as it does. And it's like, well, yeah, it's like a long motorcycle, you know? The only thing that's missing that could be bigger is the transmission. That's the one thing that the Honda Fury is missing is that it should have a six-speed transmission. You got this big old engine, but only it, it gets bottlenecked at a five-speed. That's my only downfall, but hey, it still goes the distance. It still goes 80, 90 miles an hour if you really, really want it to. So, I mean, that's that's no big deal. But I mean, it just would be more comfortable if it had a six-speed. And so, the second thing that, that people really enjoy about this motorcycle is that it's a chopper. Whoever said that choppers are dead are completely wrong. Now, now, okay, let me elaborate on something. I know that this is a production chopper. I know that it's a production chopper. You don't have to tell me. I literally bought it knowing it was a production chopper. When people think of choppers, they think of like the 70s, 80s choppers. Real long neck fucking rake, rake bikes, you know, and the bunny ear handlebars and whatnot. Just your typical, you know, long, long old school 70s chopper. And everybody has a, has their opinions on that, whether they like it or they don't. But they are correct when you say you don't see a lot of those around anymore. But how, if I was to compare the, the Fury to a actual chopper chopper that was made for, you know, the, uh, you know, made to suit the bill was, would be a, probably a Titan Gecko. That's probably the closest I'd get. If you want to go back to the older school things and, and, you know, compare it to that. That's what I would compare it to as one of the Titan Geckos. And like I said, not a lot of people see them anymore and they, people come to appreciate it. When they do see it because it's, it's it's exactly like the rider. It's esoteric. Not a lot of people have it. There's only, I've only seen in the entire time I've been riding motorcycles. I have only seen one, other than the motorcycle that I'm riding, one Honda Fury around the road around here. I worry about it. Yeah, I don't, I don't, 
quite understand why people say that the, uh, the the chopper scene is dead when it's alive and well when people make XS 650s or 600s into the old school choppers and yeah it's 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 awesome it's completely awesome and I'm glad that's still a thing nowadays but I digress the the last thing that everybody likes about the Honda Fury aside from it being different and it being a chopper is that previously mentioned it's different it's different from your regular cruiser. It's different from your ultra classics. It's different from your Indians. It's different from your road glides, street glides, electric glides. It's different from all that. And what what makes me kind of surprised is that when Harley Davidson tried to hand out a production chopper, being what is it, the FXCWC, the Rocker C, and they they tried their hand at that. That only lasts what two, three years. When the Honda Fury has been going strong for thirteen, this will be twelve years now, I believe. Yeah, 12 years they started. Yeah, they started the Fury line in 2010. So this will be 12 years at the time of this recording. And it's you no, know, you don't see it around everywhere. You don't, you know, you don't see it in a pack of a, of, of MCs. You don't see it in a pack of riders. You don't see it around here anymore, man. And it's it is actually really, really nice because you stand out. You know, of course, you got to have a, a special appreciation for standing out and being different because, in my opinion, that makes everything a lot more fun than standing out, that is. Because you're not going to get lost in the shuffle. You're just another face. You're not just another face in the crowd. You're standing out with your sexy Honda Fury. And when people say, oh, wow, that's a Honda, not a Harley, it just baffles them because they're just like, holy shit, Honda stepped up their game, man. Like, they, they're on it. So I'm like, yeah, Honda's been on it for a long time. You know what I'm saying? Like, compare, like if you want to talk about who they want to go up against, then yeah, they've been on it for quite some time. With it being different, with it being a chopper, everybody loves a chopper, and with it being a powerful Honda, hell, you can't not love the Fury. It makes everybody look good. It's just, it's the same reasons why I still love this bike from the day that I laid my eyes on it, you know what I'm saying? It's always been just this fucking, this behemoth of a machine in the best of ways and everybody loves it you know yesterday at the, at, when i was uh, talking i had some uh guys i ain't seen before really interacted with come up to me and they're just like like man you know because I, I was with one of my buddies and i was i was walking and i was walking next to him he's like you know i can tell you're a leader of a pack aren't you and i'm like i'm like oh no man i'm a i'm a, I'm a lone wolf, i'm a lone rider man i said that's why i don't fly any patches i don't you know associate myself with anybody except myself and, and he's like, he's like, oh, okay. I said, with a bike like that, you can only be one of two things. You can only be a lone wolf or you can be a leader of the pack. You don't follow behind anybody. And I'm like, yeah, you're absolutely right, I don't. I'm like, well, with or without the bike, I don't follow behind anybody. I will lead the pack. I'll lead the wolves to the, I'll lead the wolves to the food, the prey. You know what I'm saying? Like, there ain't no question about that. And so he's like, yeah. He's like, I can tell it in you that you lead the pack. You ain't nobody's bitch. And I'm like, you're goddamn right I'm nobody's bitch. And I'm like, I don't I don't walk around with my you know with my head up fucking my head up my ass about it or my dick out about it. I don't do that, but I don't need to because apparent apparently, I don't know. Some word from yesterday, this bike does just that. It tells the story for me. But yeah, I just thought that was fucking hilarious in the best of ways. He's just like, he's like, with a bike like that, you ain't nobody's bitch. And I'm like, yeah, you're fucking right. You are absolutely right. I'm like, people start the conversations with me. I don't start the conversation with them because all they got is just another touring Harley. Whether it's better than the Honda or not, I really don't give a damn. But ain't nothing better than my bike. The one, Ain't nothing better than the bike that I'm sitting on, no matter what anybody says. Better for me, that is. But if it's better for you, then by all means, it's better for you. Good for you. Ride safe, ride often, you know what I'm saying? Yeah! But I tell you what, there have been multiple times where I've walked into that bar and they're like, Oh yeah, man, what do you ride? And I'm like, oh, I, I ride a Honda. And before I can say Honda Fury, they're like, oh, pfft, you ride a Honda? Get the fuck out of here. Like, you can't sit with us. You're not one of the cool kids. You don't ride a Harley. And I'm just like, okay, but it's a Honda Fury. They're like, wait, a Honda Fury? How the fuck did you get your hands on one of those? And I'm like, bro, it was a blink and you miss it. I hunted my power sports dealer and I waited. And I waited and waited and waited. And, the, and like literally the hour it came onto their website that it was in stock, I was there. 
I was there and the bike became mine. There was no question about it. So yeah, that's about what I've, uh, what I've narrowed down to the reasons why people love the Honda Fury. I have got to scratch my nose, so excuse the wind. All right, that's a lot better. Yeah, that's why everybody, uh, that's why at least I think everybody loves the Honda Fury. And I'm sure my, my fellow Fury owners are gonna, ex they're gonna say the same thing that they've been approached. They're like, holy shit, that is a nice bike. They can't believe it's not a Harley. They can't believe it's not butter. And they just, they, you know, they appreciate the bike for what it is. You know, completely bone stock, this bike is still absolutely gorgeous. You don't need to put a big old fucking cam in it. You don't need a stage two, three, four. You don't even need a stage one like I did. You don't even need that. It's just good the way it looks, you know what I'm saying? It's like you can keep, you can keep this thing bone stock and ha and still have just as many compliments for as long as you've been getting, or at least as long as I've been getting compliments on this bike, and that's for the entire year and a half that I've had it. But today has been an absolutely gorgeous day to do some riding, and man, I tell you what, the reason I'm wearing a long sleeve in 80 degree weather is because I got some ink right here, and uh, I'll do a reveal on that on my Instagram at Esoteric Rider, shameless plug. Oh, I, oh, oh, damn, that was a good transition. Man, go me. Anyway, yeah, I got some ink right there, and uh, I really don't want it getting sunburnt because the sun gets hot, and it gets hot fast. At least where I'm at. All of the motorcycle content. You know, you know what's funny? That guy on his fucking road glide, when he, when people don't throw down the two and they're, they're uh, you know, they're riding their fucking road glides like hard asses, I make sure to flip them off when they don't give me the, when they, you know, when they don't give me the respect. And before you come in, you don't earn the respect, brother. You ride a, you ride a Honda, brother. Yeah, okay. Two wheels is two wheels, fuckface. Whether it's a scooter or not, so kiss my ass. Anyway. Yeah, I make sure to give them a nice big bird when they're so that when they look at their rearview mirror, it's like, what are they gonna do? Do a U-turn about it? Okay, yeah, let's see you do a big fucking U-turn in your 800-pound touring bike and try to catch up to me, who's got fucking 200 pounds less on you. And I guarantee you may have more torque, but I guarantee I'm gonna be too far ahead for you to do something about it. So, yeah, that's just uh, gotta give respect to get respect. Disrespect me, I disrespect you twice as hard. So fuck you. And the famous words of Jim Cornette: Thank you, fuck you, goodbye. But in the meanwhile, <laughs> in the meanwhile, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Check out the Instagram at Esoteric Rider where I post pictures of this beautiful specimen of a machine that is my Honda Fury and other motorcycle related content. And until then, I'll catch you guys in the next video. When you ride, get the rubber side down and be safe and ride free. Peace out.